<coughs> Good morning. It's like 8 in the morning, 30 degrees out. Uh, it's cold, it's cold. Um, from what we're used to. But today we're going to burn and get it a little warmer. The one lesson that I think we've learned is don't wait until your burn pile gets to be humongous. It's a lot harder to burn. So we're going to start periodically burning. And then uh, we'll be working on ripping the rest of our stumps out, either burning them or throwing them back in the woods. Just slowly making our way to turning this into, what, pasture or real, real land? Pasture and garden. <laughs> and garden. And some of these holes are really, really deep. Right. Well, we have to fill all these giant... Now, you know, I think we've changed from stump land to, like, crater land. <laughs> it is crater land. Look at this. This is probably one of the biggest ones. We go fishing in this thing. Maybe, Maybe we should have a pond here. Maybe. So all these craters are from the roots that were ripped out. Um, the stumps. Sorry, the stumps. I mean, this one could easily be pulled out. We just got to be able to get the tractor back here. Soil's still kind of loose, but now's the best time to do it since the ground is kind of frozen again. Right. From being so cold last night. Well, yeah, so let's get our fire started and then we'll get the tractor started and uh, see if we can get all this done today. Hey, big kudos to Nathan who woke up at 4.30 in the morning last night when it was 52 degrees in our RV because our propane had to be switched. The joys of living in our I appreciate you. Hmm. Thanks, babe. All right, let's uh, let's get some fire and warm up. Coffee. Yeah, and coffee. Penny's doing her laps around the fire. Can't believe how frozen this ground is.
lost a bolt. Right here. No idea when that happened. But I was noticing it wasn't cutting well and blade. I don't know. Been having some issues with the steel. Uh, I feel like it's not feeding the oil. I don't know, I'll have to talk to my friend over at Timber and Tools. He's the, the chainsaw expert. But you know what they say, two is one, one is none. That's why I have a backup chainsaw. Good news is the stumps are burning. Get out the trusty leaf blower. warmed up since we started this morning it's now back into the mid 50s and it's gorgeous so we've been working for about five hours or so and I wanted to show you the progress we've been making there she is I'm so excited to plant in this space this spring and I'm actually even more excited to check out uh, this dirt here we will be bringing a tiller through this eventually, but right now, we've just been doing passes along this all day, filling in all the craters that the stumps of all these trees created. And I'm really, really excited to find that the dirt here is actually brown. So, the further back you go, you just see how nice the soil is. So, I mean, we'll definitely be needing to amend it. My plan is to get some compost um, brought in and we'll till that in. Um, but yeah, really excited to plant some veggies in the spring. And then start canning harvest time this year. Woohoo! Oh. Wow. <laughs> I just realized I have black all over my face. But uh, what a day. We've been burning since, I don't know, 8.30 this morning. Um, just kept putting more and more uh, debris in there. And uh, as you can see, all this from this little itty bitty tree all the way over to the majority of the trees, we cleared. We did it. We uh, chopped down all the trees, we burned all the brush. Um, 
my friend did help with some of the stumps, but uh, today I was just driving over it, trying to, to grade it out, um, you know, make it a little bit more level. And I think once it settles, you know, give it another day or two, uh, if I come back through with the box blade, I think I'll be able to get it a little bit more, more level. So super excited. Um, the fact that we were able to do all this by ourselves, um, it was a lot of work. I can't imagine clearing all this without the right tools, um, which, which we don't have all the right tools. We're making do with the little tractor that we have. But uh, a long day's work, that's for sure. But uh, we're super excited. I'm getting a tiller next week, I think. Um, and I just bought the seed. So I believe uh, hopefully by beginning of March into February, all of this is cleared up, tilled, and we're going to be able to plant our clover. Um, just get some sort of cover crop going here. And uh, super excited. We got a lot coming, coming up. Um, we're hopefully building our house in April which is going to be really exciting. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Be doing a lot of, uh, a lot of videos, a lot of time lapse on that as well. But thank you so much for everyone who has subscribed, who has liked. Uh, we really appreciate it uh, as we're trying to grow this channel. Um, if there's anything you're interested in seeing, let, let me know. Um, someone mentioned that they wanted to see like more tractor time. So <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, trying to video more of me doing things and, and you know, fast forward um, speed. Um, eventually, I'm gonna do a full review on the tractor once I get everything um, all set up here. Pretty happy with it so far. Um, and we've been definitely working it hard, that's for sure. So thank you everyone. Have a great day. We'll see you next time. Bye.